Trying to go inside. Nice cut to the basket, but unable to get it. And now Louisville looks to run. Haley Van Lith, one of the best freshmen in the country, gets it up. And then you give it to number one, Dana Evans, and she is money from outside. Um, you know, just running deep into the shot clock, running through their plays. They have got to get comfortable on the offensive end as Kono gets to the rim with a nice finish in this game because, boy, their half-court offense has, has really been anemic. That's 3 of 11 from the floor. Dana Evans comes right back in and just, what the heck, up all afternoon. And she's kind of fading away from Dixon. I would like to see her go to the rim and use that power. And yeah, has been a starter since day one, along with Haley Van Lith, the true, true freshman who started. And finally, UT Martin gets a field goal to go down. Jeff Wallace is trying to get his team again back in the offensive rhythm, and it starts with Dana Evans. Everything on this team starts and ends with her on the defensive and offensive end, and that's how you get player of the year accolades as Balagoon nails a three quite fired up because she knew she had to pull her team out of a little bit of a rut and she did that and is she going to hit another oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness Pam someone <laughs> guard her and Kaufman has done a nice job of just keeping her body between Perry and the basket Evans well, at UT Martin and playing in the OVC to playing at the next level overseas WNBA she will definitely be um, on the WNBA draft board whenever she decides to end her college career at 26 when these two teams played about four weeks ago and sat pretty early Perry how about Chelsea Perry Lugo goes to 8 and 0 on the season With a very impressive win, boy, Dana Evans came out scorching hot.